Friends, miners, crafters, lend me your pickaxes. It is I, Ilhamor, bringing you another enriching chapter of Minecraft Bedrock Goodness. And this is our village, looking fantastic. We finished that up at the end of last episode, and uh, it's looking great. I love all the little details. But today we are not doing that, we are going mining. And so uh, I've got my, my iron pants on and my iron boots on and I'm going to have my shovel because that's what we need to mine and uh, yeah I'm just going to get ready and go on down into the mines. What we're looking for is diamonds and we're looking for uh, just really lots of coal, lots of iron, all the resources that we could possibly want to uh, set us up for the coming time. We're also going to try and build some sort of wall or protection around this place so uh, better get started. But uh, first things first, better light it all up and down we go. All right, and uh, let's see what, what, what we find. Okay, we found something. We found a creeper. And uh, oh man, it, I have such bad luck with these guys, as you know, as you know. Don't think, oh, he exploded. Oh, and he hit that bat. Die! Uh, more bats. Um, take out my wrath on these bats. Anyway, this, uh, if you're looking around this chamber, this is, I'm thinking this could be a good starting chamber, but I gotta get rid of these mobs first. And uh, this one, a little spidery guy. But I love it when they get stuck like this. They're just so easy to just, oh, what's that in the background? Yep, two creepers, two of them. But they're in water, so this should be all right. And moving very slowly. Oh, oh, he didn't explode. I fully expected him to explode. Die, die, die! Hey, we got some. All right, now I gotta kill this guy without, uh, without getting the other piece of gunpowder blown up. I'll hide back here, hide in the corner, and get him. Oh no, just uh, hitting, hitting the walls. Ah, yeah, got him. So anyway, this uh, next bit is gonna be a little bit boring because it's just gonna be me mining out every single bit of ore I see. And my basic strategy is to try and just follow these caves as much as possible, mine them out, light them up, and, uh, and then whenever we've done that enough, or we've gone too far, then uh, I'll just start to, uh, start to mine, strip mine, no, not strip mine, that's not a thing, tunnel mine, I don't know. Um, but, you know, just try and get more and more things. But uh, starting off with the coal, uh, see how much iron, how, how much gold we can get, and uh, we're going to fast forward through this. So uh, here goes. Okay, so I've done a lot of my, you haven't seen it at all, but I uh, come across all these zombies and that bit in the background makes me think that there must be a zombie spawner. Oh man, where'd that guy come from? Um, oof. So I've gone quite a way, filled up my inventory. It's time to start smelting down the ores and uh, before I have another go, but yeah, let's uh, just see what we've got here. Loads and loads of coal, loads of iron, pretty good. And uh, we'll just put all this stuff now in a chest before going back into it. So. Uh, yeah, I found some, gone pretty low, found some trails, but actually it's all come down to pretty much just one. Uh, keep the bucket, because that's always useful. Some sticks for more uh, pickaxes, and uh, yeah, we're ready to go again. Okay, so uh, I've spotted another spawner down here, and say, it's a zombie spawner, another zombie spawner. Zombie spawners are the worst, because, I mean, frankly, who needs rotten flesh? And those little guys are the worst. 
back we come and uh, as you can see we've had some pretty good luck we found our first emerald now it's not our first emerald that we found because we found some in the village but um first ones that we've mined still no diamonds but uh i, I live in hope all right we found a mine shaft which is exciting and uh I'm just gonna take some time first of all before we go exploring there uh, I found something else. I found a skeleton spawner. So, uh, yeah, just get rid of this guy. And we can eventually make this into an XP farm. Ooh, redstone. Redstone. Redstone is great because I have a redstone project that I want to do uh, in the village, and it's a little village, so there shouldn't be. <laughs> Love it, die in the lava. All right, this is weird. Look at this. This skeleton and this witch are just fighting each other. And yeah. <laughs> oh, I got got. It's okay. They're just focusing on each other, which is great. And uh, let's see who kills who. Um. Well, it looks like the skeleton is killing the witch, but. It's taking forever. Uh, I may need to just uh, step in, help them out. <laughs> it's so funny to watch all the particles, isn't it? All right, die you first, old oh, man. Hey, I just helped you. You die. All right, we're back at the uh, back at the top, spelting down some more ores, and uh, we have still haven't found diamonds. We haven't exp explored the whole mine shaft, but. What I've done is I've recorded the coordinates of the spawners and the entrance and the mine shaft and trying to figure out how to join them all up. Uh, I really don't want anything that this guy is selling, but I do want the leads. So I'm going to try and separate the llamas from the traders enough so that uh, so that I can get the leads. So we'll just see if we can get them to flow downhill. Uh, yeah, it seems to be working. But now they're not in the water. Um, okay. Uh, no. I'll try from here. Uh, they're just not just not going. Come on. I want the leads. Give me your leads. <laughs> uh, this isn't working. Well guys, there's only one thing to do, and um, that's become a murderer. Uh, so uh, yeah, because when that guy dies, he will drop the leads, and I need leads. What can I do? What can I do? I'm starting to feel bad. <laughs> He's trying to escape. Maybe I should maybe I should let him escape. Or maybe not. Oh no, it's too late. He's dying. He's dying. He's dead. I... I am evil! <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is where the mine shaft is, and this I've decided is where I want um, to be able to access most easily. But if I go all the way through the cave system, it's really far. Ooh, llama out for revenge. Revenge, llama! Watch out. But instead, if I just mine up here about 14 blocks this way, and then about 40 blocks to the right, I will come out pretty much at the entrance. And so I think I'm just going to make a nice tunnel uh, down here, and that will be kind of the easy entrance. So here we are, up at the top. And that didn't take too long at all. And uh, yeah, now we come, and you can see we're in, uh, well, we're in that hole that we dug earlier. <laughs> uh, this wasn't exactly where I thought we'd come out, but no, that's fine. So yeah, that'll work for now, and we'll build this into the entrance and have a little, little um, over, have a roof here, I guess. Yeah, all right, that'll work. Oh boy, we've been exploring this mine shaft, and we found them. Diamonds. Oh, my heart thrills to the sound of diamonds. What sound did diamonds make? Ching. Anyway, I'm going to mine these out and uh, be right back with you. I am rich. Seven diamonds from that hall. 
and there's now nothing that we can't do. Mwahaha! <laughs> I gotta stop making that evil laugh. The only problem is now I'm lost. I have no idea how to get back, and I do not want to die. Uh, but thankfully, those guys are just fighting each other. Die, die, die! Oh, oh no! I'm trapped! Oh no! I'm suffocating! Quick, 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 quick! Oh no! Uh, what? Oh! Oof, I was down to three hearts and diamonds as well. Oh no! <laughs> this is the worst. Oh, come on! No, I've got to stop burning to death. Oh, finally, I'm getting out. It's raining. There's probably creepers around, but I'm out. Quick to sleep. I've got my diamonds. They're safe. So I'm outside and thinking that I need to join this up, make it part of the village. And so the path that we've got that's from the grass is really nice, but I'd quite like to uh, continue that path a little bit and they're gonna figure out how to do that. But uh, yeah, that's... So yeah, we'll just, uh, from here, I think we'll just start mining out and uh, not all of it, just you know, randomly various blocks because this isn't this hasn't been made by the cavemen this uh, it's just been worn down by the cavemen this is like, how much they've uh, they've worn it down and obviously uh, the mine shaft is from something before them they don't know uh, who did that or, or where that's from but uh, but they will occasionally go down into the mines and uh, maybe it's like a rite of passage uh, when you achieve adulthood not that. Um, so yeah, this pathway is kind of rough, but uh, but visible, and leads from the village into the mine, which uh, is kind of nice. I like that. We'll just fill up this hole. No. But um, yeah, so this is this is what we're doing, and that that's how it will continue. So yeah, we need something else. I think I don't know exactly what, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it look nicer somehow. Maybe uh, some edging. Stone stairs, perhaps, and the side, that sort of thing. We'll do it when we're richer. The resources, but need to uh, make it look prettier at some point. But in the meantime, I've decided I'm going to build my, my defensive wall, my structure around here. And uh, as you can see, I've made a start with some oak logs. And uh, I'm not going to make it go all the way around, but just. Uh, just kind of where the landscape itself doesn't protect us and I think this wall is called a palisade uh, and it's just you know a bunch of logs that have been put up and uh, I'm going to vary it between oak, dark oak and spruce just to kind of uh, break it up make it so that it's not uh, not too uniform and then uh, then it should look pretty nice it should look pretty rustic um, also just not going to put them right next to each other, but always on a diagonal to make it look even more rough and really differentiate it. Uh, see how that looks. How does that look, Llama? Yeah, that looks okay. It looks alright. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And uh, yeah, so I think we can keep going like this, and we might just need to even out the uh, the height of these. But I don't want it to be too even because. You know, it's, these are cavemen, they've just kind of used fallen down logs to do it. So, uh, yeah, I keep building here. And I really like the fact that we're, you know, we're concentrating on building in the style that these cavemen would have built in. So, uh, yeah, just uh, doing this. And uh, there's the llama trying to get in, but he can't because of our palisade. And, uh, yeah, looking all right. I like it. So keep going here, and maybe a, a wall, some sort of outcropping, and so that they don't have to build the wall all around. So they just build it from like this rock face to the other rock face, and just trying to make it so that mobs can't get in. Really, this llama is our security chief. He's trying to find a way in. He's found a way in. It's not secure yet, apparently, but. Uh, See how it looks. That's not going to look too good because it's too square. But uh, yeah, just make this look like it's part of the landscape, uh, like it was always there. And uh, yeah, I'm just making it harder for 
for mobs to get in. We're going to light up all the inside eventually so that we can get villagers in there and they can live in peace. But in the meantime, just kind of making it look like, uh, look like it's natural. All right, that's looking pretty great. Um, this obviously needs to get uh, wiped out a little bit and terraformed. But this right here is looking great. And just on top, the finishing touch, I'm going to spike it off with some fence posts. And uh, one tall, uh, yeah, wrong one. And I'm going to use dark oak for the spruce and the dark oak, because that color seems to match. But then I'm going to use spruce for the, for the oak logs. And uh, yeah, just using the colors. And Trying to make it look like this is more natural. So there we are. Three. Now we go doing some parkour at the same time. You can see I made a start over in the background there. But uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see what this looks like with these spikes on top. And obviously, I care about it more from the inside than the outside. Ah, oh, that looks that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. And obviously needs some terraforming. So I'm going to do the same thing all the way over there. But for now, I've spent more than long enough uh, on all of this, and so it's time for me to uh, to stop for another day in this episode. But uh, but we can have a look around our uh, our village. You can see I've changed this blue one, so now it's pink. Uh, the hole in the roof. Uh, made the other buildings much the same. This is my yellow house, and uh, this one has a stone floor because they're a bit more upper class. And they've got the horse with the stables in Marjorie uh, barrel there, and then two more over here. And this one closer to the water, and um, magenta house, got a dirt floor, and this is a stone floor one, so a bit more upper class. This red one's the top one. He's got a furnace and everything. And uh, you see all the shutters closed, but those can all be opened. And uh, one more for you to see. Uh, there's a llama being impaled on my lamppost. That cannot be healthy. That does not look good. I feel like I need to save this llama. Uh, I did not do this. I just want to make that clear. I'm going to save the llama. But uh, first of all, I'll show you this fisherman's house. Blue, because he's going to be a fisherman. And the uh, sun's going down, so I better save the llama quickly. Uh, yeah, okay, he's alright again. It's alright, no no animals were harmed in the making of this movie. So, uh, yeah, all in all, looking great. And uh, really happy, I'm just going to sleep the night in the red house. And that will be about it for, uh, for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, please uh, do leave a like, subscribe to never miss a chapter and support my channel. And until the next chapter... This was Ich Lamour.